Hi guys, welcome to Champion Cheer Academy. I'm Deanna and today we're going to be working on tips and stretches for mastering your beginner splits. An often asked question is do I need to already be flexible to learn this skill? And no, you do not need to already be flexible. That's what this video is all about. Mastering some stretches and working on better flexibility. And now two major muscles and tendons we're going to be focusing on today is our hamstrings and our hip flexors as both of those body parts are the key to mastering your splits. Before we jump on into the video, make sure you are warmed up before attempting any stretches to prevent muscle pulls or injuries. Let's get started. The first stretch we're gonna be working on is butterfly. For a butterfly, you're gonna bring your legs out like so, your knees facing the side and your feet together. You're now going to lean forward. the stretch in your hip flexors and that's very important. The stretch is something you want to feel. For stretch number two, we're going to be out into pike position. You want your toes pointed and your legs completely straight. And I'm going to breathe in and breathe out and reach forward. For this stretch, you do not want your knees coming up. You're going to completely miss the stretch you feel in your hamstrings. Now, to advance the stretch, we can always flex our feet and reach forward for them. For even advanced stretch, we can take our heels off of the ground. If you can't do that, that is totally okay. The stretch we're about to do is a very important stretch, and it really helped me when I was learning my splits. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into our lunge, like so. Your back leg is semi-straight and your front leg is up. You're now going to reach down. If you can't go all the way down on your elbows, don't worry, you can always go onto your hands. Next up is our straddle. Now this one is also very important and you will feel a really good stretch, you might even be sore the next day. Now when you're in your straddle, you want your knees to either be facing the ceiling or the back wall. You never want them caving in. Your toes are also going to be pointed for proper technique. We're going to start off by leaning over to one side. to our knees. Now when bringing your nose to your knee, you want to bring your nose to your knee. Not your knee to your nose. You don't want your leg coming up like that. You're going to be completely missing the proper stretch. And for our last stretch of the day, we're going to be doing our lunges. For this lunge, you want your leg back just like this and almost like an upside down L. Now we're going to push forwards on our knee. Make sure your knee does not go over your toes. You're going to feel a very tight stretch in your hips. You want to feel that stretch. Now we're going to lean backwards so our front leg is straight. And now we're just going to slide into our splits. If you can't slide into your splits just yet, that is totally okay. Keep working for it. But if you can, our next step is to be having our hips facing the front. Now to really focus on that, pretend you have car headlights on each hip, and then you'll be facing forward so you can see while you're driving. on how to get your beginner splits. Remember, keep practicing every day. I know you can do it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Champion Tier Academy. Bye!